Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Cause the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Hello, I'm Dr. Ange. Welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Ah, good. But someone isn't feeling very well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's deep. When I go to the doctor, I tremble and I sigh. I'm a little quiet. I'm a bit shy, but Dr. Rand is gentle. He always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be okay. So I can climb up to the castle and clumber down again, or snuggle with a storybook, or sit and watch the rain. Cause Dr. Rand is gentle. He always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be okay. Come in, Dee. Oh. You're very busy. Oh, I'll come back another time. That's OK, you've got an appointment. That means it's your special time to come and see me. Oh, OK. <sighs> so how are you today? Well, not very well. My, my tummy aches. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you anything to eat or drink? No, I don't feel like it. Mm, we'd better take a look at you then. Can you hop up onto this couch for me? Go. Right, I'll just quickly clean my hands. OK, if you lie down for me, we can take a look. There we go. OK, let's have a look. Oh, I'm not hurting you, am I? No, but, but my tummy feels all blown up, like... like a balloon. Speaking of balloons... Here's a hat. <gasps> Very smart. <laughs> so, Dee, tell me, when was the last time you did a poo? It's OK, everybody poos. I poo, you poo, we all poo. <laughs> did you go for a poo today? Mm -mm -mm. Yesterday? Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> but yesterday, I was at my new nursery. Oh, was it exciting? Well, yes, but... But... When I was there, I needed to go for a poo, but I didn't want to sit on the toilet. Is that because it was all new and a bit different? Yes. That's OK. You'll soon get used to your new nursery. But I think I know why you're not feeling well. It's because you haven't done a poo for a while. <gasps> Does that make you feel ill? Yeah, sometimes. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> it's called constipation. con sti pay Shin. That's right. It just means you're a bit blocked up. Look. Now, your poo is the last stage of a fascinating journey that food makes as it goes through your body. A journey that starts up here in your mouth and ends up right down here in your bottom. Oh, like a bus journey. No, it's a bit more like a water slide. When you swallow, the food washes down into your stomach. Your stomach's like a stretchy bag. Inside, all the food gets mixed up and goes all mushy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so that it can pass easily through the small intestine. The mushy food moves through slowly so your body can take out all the good things that it needs. My body is so clever. And by the time it's reached your bottom, it's turned into poo. <laughs> I don't like poo. Oh, you don't have to. Poo's the stuff your body doesn't need. Like rubbish. That's right. Needing to do a poo is like your body telling you it's time to put the rubbish out. Oh, but Dr. Range, 
When I tried this morning at home, I sat for ages and ages and nothing came out. Well, that's because your poo's gone a bit dry and hard now, so it won't come out very easily. Oh, no. So will my tummy get bigger and bigger until it pops? No, your poo will come out soon. But there's also one thing that you can do, Dick, that's really useful, and that's getting a toilet routine. Oh, well, well, where do I get one of those from? From the shop? No, a toilet routine just means going to the toilet at the same time every day. In the morning? Yes, in the morning is a good time, and also after your lunch and after your tea. Oh, thank you. Water and fruit and running too We all know these are good for you But there's something else that they do All work together to help you poo Sometimes you sit and you sigh and you heave <sighs> Cos your poo won't come out How you wish it would leave I do! Where does your poo come from? Why does it stop? Stay in your bottom And not make a plop Look! Where does your poo come from? Why does it stop? Stay in your bottom and not make a plot. <laughs> You're making me Water laugh. and fruit and running too. We all know these are good for you. But there's something else that they do. All come together to help you poo. Don't squeeze or strain or do it in a rush. I'm not going anywhere. Soon you will be finished, then you can flush. But not while I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Where does your poo come from? Why does it stop? Stay in your bottom and not make a plop. Plop! Where, Where does, does your poo, poo come, come from? from? Why it does it stop? stop? Stay in your bottom and not make a plop. Don't squeeze or strain or do it in a rush. Soon you will be finished, then you can flush. That's better. Don't forget to wash my hands. So deep. You know what to do now, don't you? Easy to do, easy to poo. And if the things we've talked about don't work and you still can't go for a poo, don't worry, come back and we'll give you some medicine. OK, Dr Ange, thank you. I think you deserve a badge for coming to see me today, Dee. Oh, well, thank you, Dr Ranch. Mm. And remember, there's nothing embarrassing or scary about going for a poo. When you've got to go, you've got to go. OK. Oh. You'll feel much better in no time. Bye, Dee. Bye, Dr. Ange. Well, Deep's got to go, and now I've got to go too. See you next time, and remember, be happy, be healthy. And foot and mouth disease. Dotted, dotty spots, but none upon your knees.